Hi, Simon Wilson, uh, Doctorate Direct Access Vasectomy, talking about uh, what actually happens during a vasectomy uh, and, and what doesn't happen, what doesn't get changed. I've got my lovely crocheted uh, model here with the, the testicles, the balls in the scrotum, the ball sack, uh, and penis. The testes have two functions. They produce the live sperm that allow us to um, have children with women. They also produce the male hormones, mostly testosterone and other what we call androgens that get produced, produced in these um, the testes as well and get into the bloodstream. And that gives us all what we call that secondary sexual characteristics. So um, higher male uh, muscle mass, bone mass, deeper voice, body hair, uh, libido. A bit different to this model, the actual incision uh, for a real vasectomy is just five to eight millimeters on the front of the scrotum. Uh, and through that, we can bring out the tubes, uh, leaving the testes there and divide. And that's the only thing that happens during a vasectomy. We divide the tube, carrying the live sperm from the testicles up to the base of the penis. Everything else is unchanged. Male hormone, is, testosterone is still produced in the testes. That gets into the body through the bloodstream. The nerves that control erection, uh, orgasm and ejaculation come in deep from the spinal cord. They travel across the pelvis and enter into the base of the penis. 95% of the fluid that gets ejaculated is actually produced at the base of the penis in the prostate gland and seminal vesicles. And so that's unaffected as well. So after a successful vasectomy, the only thing changed is that live sperm are no longer getting from the testes where they're produced up the tube to the base of the penis. Live sperm are still produced, but they come to the end of the divided tube, die and get reabsorbed. If you can imagine a really good uh, corked thigh, a big bleed into the, the thigh muscle there, the body reabsorbs those red blood cells and the same thing happens here with the sperm. They travel to the end of the tube, die and get reabsorbed. So after a successful vasectomy, everything will be uh, Working the same, libido, sex drive, the feeling of orgasm and ejaculation, amount and appearance of fluid ejaculated will be the same, but we'll be shooting blanks. There's just no live sperm in it. The important thing to be aware of, we go and divide the vas, that tube today, there's still actually live sperm up here in the rest of the tubes. And it actually takes up to three months to clear those live sperm from the top of the tubes before we can say, you're all clear, you can stop other methods of contraception, like taking the pill for the woman or using condoms. And that's why it's so important to have that three month test to ensure that the semen sample is clear before we can say, yes, you're covered, you can cease other methods of contraception. So, I talk about what actually goes on during the vasectomy, that the only thing changed is the absence of live sperm uh, in the semen, in the cum, uh, and that all the other functions, sex drive, orgasms, amount and appearance of fluid are unchanged.